Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Life Like Bunny. I'm Bunny, the life that is off. Today I've got another video for you guys. Today we are talking about hair. As you can see, I have got hair and that's what I'm talking about today. Best or the healthiest way to grow hair. And I know like making hair videos is controversial because one advice that works for one person might not work for the other person. But I feel like I've been successful with growing hair, you know, no genetics play a part in it. However, this advice that I'm about to tell you guys is, stop staring at me. The advice I'm about to give you guys, I feel like will universally work for everybody. It might get some people peeved and, you know, upset because they disagree, but fight with your ancestors. Anyway, the advice is, if you want to grow really, really healthy hair, do nothing. Shocker. Yeah, if you want to grow health hair, if you want to grow healthy hair, you have to genuinely do nothing to your hair. Because most people that I know, that I've found that have really healthy hair, literally the advice they give is just water and mainly doing nothing. The most they do is oil, but even that I don't oil my hair because I did not want to have to deal with what oil do I use? Do I use coconut oil? Do I use this oil? Do I use that oil? I just straight up gave up and I told myself if my hair falls off, it will fall off a bit. What am I gonna do? Hmm? Rather like have no hair for six years than have no hair for six years but still be investing in ways to have hair within those six years. I don't know if I'm making sense with you guys. So basically what I'm saying, right? You accept that, you know, your hair is not growing and for like five, six years, you do nothing. You literally, no oils, no nothing. And if worse comes to worse, your hair still doesn't grow within those six years. Okay, that's bad. You know, it didn't grow. But then the other alternative is, if it also doesn't grow within those six years, but, but you've spent money on oils, you spend money on stylists, you spend money in, on doctors, you spend money doing all these experimenting with your head to a point where like your hair follicles are probably really bloody confused. But at the end of it, you still don't have hair because people like stay on this hair journey for like literal years with zero results. And the main problem to me from what it looks like from watching a lot of these videos is because they don't try out the one thing they should try and that's doing nothing. If you watch my videos and you're trying to ask me, or if you, you know, people who see me in real life and they ask me, hey girl, how do you grow your hair? What do you do with your hair? Even before I locked it, people would ask me about my hair. And again, it's always doing nothing. Maybe before when it was, when I used to relax it, I used to shave it off more often and stuff like that, especially when I was growing up as a kid in Uganda, my hair get, got shaved a lot. But other than that, nothing. There's no magical serum there is no miracle anything do nothing to your hair that's the best fighting chance you could give it and and i know some people have got like alopecia they've got medical conditions but also the creams or the medicine available it's still not like a hundred percent guaranteed to work too you know what i mean like you most people i don't know everybody but like i assume most people got born with hair which means it has to grow as soon as you eat as long as you're eating healthy your hair has to grow whether it likes it or not. Everybody's hair grows. It's about retaining your hair. And how can you not retain your hair if you do nothing to it? If you're doing nothing to it, it will be retained. If it only, you know, you only have terrible hair retention because you're fucking with it. You know what I mean? The more you don't fuck with your, the less, the less you, fuck English, man. Fuck with your hair less so you can retain more of your hair. And it's the only miracle cure hack of hair growth is doing nothing and letting it exist in its own self. Manipulation sometimes is horrible for hair. This whole, oh, I need to put it in protective hairstyles. I don't agree with it. Let him mat. Let him mat. And if he wants to lock, I guess we all are supposed to have locks, black girls, because that's what our hair naturally does. Because what am I supposed to tell you? Most hair retention stuff is like, you have to do like ancient methods from Ethiopia or Somali or whatever, which like takes 
hours and hours and actually a community to be executed you don't like in this modern times we don't have communities of six seven women just sat there on the floor doing your hair for free if you want that same exact service you're gonna have to pay 400 pounds somewhere to somebody who's dedicated to do it even then you don't know whether they've got the same passion or even like for your hair because back in the day, people were doing it because they loved you, because they like you. Now the incentive is money. It's not the same. They're going to cut down on the products. They're going to cut everything and it's all fucked up. But beforehand, it will be, you know, you can manipulate your hair more and still retain it because it will be your family members, it will be your friends doing it. But that whole system is like broken down now. It's like one person spending 8, 10 hours, 12 hours, 2 days just doing their hair. It's not good. I don't personally think it's natural. Doing hair should not be something you pay for. It should be something done by your family members. And now we don't have that anymore. So you know what I'm resulting to? Nothing. And I think most of us should do that and just rebel. But anyway, and the hair don't even turn out bad. I love my hair. I feel like it turned out great from my nothing doing. Try it out, guys. Try it out. We should have a do nothing hair movement. I should call this video they do nothing to your hair movement and I'll pioneer it. <laughs> but you know what I mean, guys? Like, we should start it. We are tired. We're tired. We tried everything. How about trying out nothing? That's what I did and this is what my locks turned out. See, see what, see what your hair naturally does, man. That's fascinating. That's beautiful. Let's see what that entails. You know what I mean? So, guys. If you agree with me, comment down below. Would you like to try out doing nothing with your hair? Do you think that's a very good movement to start? And would you start it with me? I mean, I'm already like two years in, in the experiment of doing nothing to me hair. Cause fucking hell, I did not miss detangling and brushing. And if you don't do that, you feel like compelled to, because you feel like you're supposed to have your hair be like, you know, you're supposed to do that to your hair. But you know, you're only supposed to do that if it's locked. If it's all curls and ringlets, you're unringling the curls, which is like, it's not, it's not natural. Anyway, off the point. Comment down your thoughts below. Share, through the vi share the video to whoever will find it useful. Subscribe if you've not subscribed yet. And I think that's it. It persists, suck dick and everything in between. Bye guys. Mwah.